Meiosis by King of Science. Okay, here's a brief introduction to meiosis. Let's take a normal parent cell that is diploid with 46 chromosomes. We have 23 chromosomes from mom, 23 chromosomes from dad, and we're going to go through interphase where we double our information. Now we have 92 chromosomes entering meiosis 1. You're going to go through metaphase in which you're going to have crossing over occur in which we are going to randomize the genes on our chromosomes. So when we go through telophase 1, we're back to being diploid with unique chromosomes. Now you skip interphase because we do not want to double our information and we're moving right into prophase 2. Nucleus is dissolving again. Metaphase 2 and anaphase 2. And lastly, finally, telophase 2 in which we're going to create four haploid cells. In males, they are sperm with 23 chromosomes. And in females, that's one egg and three polar bodies with 23 chromosomes. Summing it all up, our function is to produce sex cells. This occurs in gametes or in our testes if we're male or uterus if you're a female in which we produce sex cells. We create four cells going through one meiosis with one parent cell. You're going to start with 46 chromosomes and you're going to go through two divisions in order to get four cells with 23 chromosomes that are genetically different than any cell ever created in your body. What is the result of meiosis? To create four unique cells. And why is it important to have haploid cells? So that way mom and dad can both give one half their genetic information. Please subscribe for more.